Okay, real quick before I pupate the big dogs, Old Yeller, I would like to know how easy is it to roll over in zero gravity? What do you mean you don't want to do that? Alright, Grapes, do you want to roll over? Please? I would love to see you try and roll over. Oh, he's doing it anyway. <laughs> Forming the duties of his office of Digby C. Caesar. No. Well, hey, everybody. Thanks for stopping by. I am Digby, and today we are back in Wobble Dogs, and we've actually got a couple of things we want to get done today. But before we do any of that, um, actually, okay, Drip, Sluggo, before I throw you guys in the food, yeah, as I was going to say, before we get started on that, let's actually go have a look at our doggos. See how everybody's feeling. Um, okay, Sluggo, you are officially the weirdest dog I have ever bred. So how about you? Go get yourself into the food. Whoops, I probably should have uh, unlocked the camera before I did that. Now, Drip, how you feeling? Pity poor Tom, for his nose is frozen, and he does shiver, and... He's mad! Okay, Drip is not actually coping very well with gravity. So, Drip, I think I'm just going to put you in the food as well. Yes, erf, erf. There you go. Um, are you guys actually hungry? All right, Sluggo, you're hungry. Here, how about you eat that one? Drip, you're hungry. How about you eat, well, whatever's in front of you. There we go. Okay, freaks and geeks time. Qbert, what you up to? Um, okay. All right, well, you guys are friendly. I'll give you credit for that one. So, Qbert is also... Ooh, we haven't actually got any food in here. I was going to say, Qbert's hungry as well. Uh, you know what? I'll get back to feeding them in a minute. And I actually probably don't even have to bother to look at Floppy, because, as we can see, Floppy's just having a grand old time with Qbert. All right, well, Grapes, let's look at you first. You seem to be doing okay, although you're tired. How about you take a quick nap and then we'll pupate you. I'm gonna let everybody else have a chance to catch up. Um, old Yeller, you as well. You have a nice... Oh, shoot. All right, I hit pupate on him. I apologize. All right, well, give me a minute. I gotta go apparently sort this out. I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. And while I have everybody safely ensconced in their... Uh cocoons one of the main things i wanted to try today was generating some ectoplasm so i think we're going to call forth bread actually there's something else i wouldn't mind trying with bread um bread it's not going to affect you at all so how about you oh hello i had an extra one in here all right bread i would very much like for you to eat that moon pie i had to actually look this up but i'm pretty sure this is how we do it i just get them to eat it and once they poop it out it will be ectoplasm now, I don't know exactly what it is ectoplasm does, but hopefully we will find out here very soon. So, I'm going to actually take another few minutes. We'll wait for Bread to do his thing. Like, literally do his thing. And then, yeah, we'll be back and we'll see what happens. Oh, okay. It just became ectoplasm. Now, I think if I send him away, it will stay behind. Or maybe it is optional. I just have to wait for him to poop it out. But before we do that, Bread, here's the other thing I wanted you to try. Okay, you can't levitate cocoons? Oh, I didn't actually want you to levitate. I wanted you to levitate Qbert's cocoon. Alright, well, let's try sending Bread back. Uh, no, don't want to do that. I want to send you back to the thing, so... Banish? Okay, we have ectoplasm. No, don't destroy the ectoplasm. Alright, a ghost did this, but I'm not sure how. Well, I tell you what, Qbert, you're the first victim, so I want you to come out and eat the ectoplasm, because I want to know what it does. Okay, let me just destroy that. Shoot. Oh, actually, it doesn't really matter with you guys at all, does it? Okay, you got slightly bigger, and your pattern changed a little tiny bit. All right, let's destroy that. Qbert, please eat the ectoplasm. Here, let me put it over by you, just so we can see what happens. Come on, Qbert, eat the ectoplasm. Now, is that going to give me a, uh... Actually, let's get Floppy out real quick, so everybody's still kind of on the same schedule. But yeah, did that... Oh, there's a baby tooth as well. Shoot. For God's sakes. Alright, you know what? You got... Oh, actually, he developed a pattern? Or did it just get brighter?
Nope, he had hearts on him at one point. Now he's got spots. Well, floppy, fair dues. Let's go have a look at the book here real quick and see if we got something for the ectoplasm. Aha! Yes, we did. An intimidating flora from beyond the pale. Okay, well, I tell you what. Bread buddy, how about you come back out and let's do that again. Because if you're going to make ectoplasm every time, we might be able to actually unlock what it does. So yeah, how about you... Oh, no, not you. I want bread to eat that. Bread, eat that, please. Okay, you guys, let me just vacuum up your puddle here real quick. Bread, please eat the thing. Bread, eat the thing. Yeah, well, you're not doing very good at it, Bread. I know you say you're trying to do your best, but your best is absolutely not going to cut it. So please, eat that. No, I want that. Eat it, please. There we go. Okay, there's some more ectoplasm coming. And while we're doing that, how about you guys have some more stuff? So I'm just going to remove these. And I think for fun, we'll remove all the teeth as well. So there we go. That should be plenty of things for you guys to eat. Okay, sorry about the uh, cocoon nado that you guys just endured. <laughs> Alright, you got a little pinker. Uh, no, 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 no. Destroy that quickly, quickly. Thank you. Now, real oh, shoot. Hold on, I gotta get rid of the thrown up food as well. Oh, for God's sakes. You guys, I swear to God, are gonna kill me. Oh, and one of the other things I wanted to do was I actually wanted to set the gravity just off. I did a little experimentation on my own, and I found out that they are actually perfectly capable of eating in zero gravity. So you guys deal with your problems. I'm going to go get the little fellas out. And get them fed. And then we'll sort out everybody's personal issues. Okay, you are still tiny. He actually looks like he didn't change at all. No, in fact, according to his stats, he's actually smaller now than he was. <laughs> Alright, he's got his ectoplasm done, so let's, uh, oh. No, 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 go get him, there you go. Okay, bread, I want you to go away again. I'm gonna put the ectoplasm over here if I can. Grapes isn't hungry. Floppy is still a little bit hungry, so Floppy, I would very much like you... No, 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 no. There we go. All right, Floppy, I want you to eat the ectoplasm. Grapes, don't even think about it. Floppy, eat the ectoplasm, please. Floppy. Come on, Floppy. There you go. Okay, I don't know which one of them got it. One of them did. I gotta clean up this. Oh, no, you guys actually wanted baby teeth in your thing. Okay, Floppy, take a nap, please. I'm sorry I made you wake up for that. Alright, I thought he was eating, but apparently he's not. So how about you? Get some sleep. We'll get Sluggo to take a nap as well. You guys can sort out your food in the morning. Alright, Grapes, you are starving to death. So how about you eat this? Here, I'll help you with it. I think. There you go. And we'll just destroy the baby teeth real quick. While you're doing that. Um, did you just lose track of your food? Come on. Get the baby tooth. There we go. Holy crap, that's hard. Okay, I'm thinking for the sake of safety, I'm actually going to pick up all the baby teeth just in case. Because there's no way I can keep track of them in all the cages. So, yeah, we'll just let them have cocoons. It seems to work. Uh, Sluggo. Oh, that's what I was doing, buddy. You're hungry. Here, have some food. Oh, you know what? Sluggo actually taking care of it on his own. Perfect. Now, how about, while we're here, drip. Oh, actually, Sluggo's cheesed off about something. Tell you what, buddy, let me give you some lovings. I'm pretty sure you're petable. Oh, you're just grumpy anyway, full stop. There we go. I don't know why it is, but little dogs, for some reason, eat like three times their own body weight and food every time they have a meal. All right, drip, how are you feeling? You're hungry as well. Well, you've already got one in your mouth, buddy. How about you just eat it? Alright, you little weirdos. How you doing? Oh, you know what? This isn't going to work in here anymore. So how about we put the vacuum away and then we'll bring it out in here, maybe. Now, how do I do that? Oh, just like that. Boop. And it landed upside right. Perfect. 
All right, little fellas, I've been kind of neglecting you a bit here. Whoop, no, 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 no. You don't eat that. You do not eat that at all. Thank you very much. I will clean that up. Now, you are absolutely starving to death. So, Sluggo, eat this one, please. All right, come on, little guys. It's not rocket science. It's food. Can we please just eat this? Yes, it's right next to you. Look, eat it. Thank you. Now, you... Oops, eat the one in front of you. Yeah, I've noticed the smaller they get, the more they struggle. Okay, bread, you're done making ectoplasm. Please go away. Um, you, I would very much like for you, Cubert, I would like you to eat this, please. Literally right in front of you. Okay, Cubert is apparently not hungry, so let's try Floppy. Um, Floppy, where the hell'd you go? Come here, little buddy. I need you to do me a favor and tell me what ectoplasm does. Please eat this. There you go. I promise I'll pupate you guys in a minute. Just, um, Floppy, can you eat that, please? There we go. Did that unlock it yet? No, it didn't. All right, how much ectoplasm do you guys need to eat for this to work? All right, Floppy, let's see if you're in the mood to dig a hole yet. Okay, he's trying his best. Wow, friggin' uh, Qbert is definitely the happiest dog I own. Well, Qbert, let's see if you're in the mood to dig a hole. Come on, you two, I need somebody to dig a hole. It ain't no trick to get rich quick. If you dig, dig, dig with a shovel or a pick. Ah, Qbert, thank you. Holy crap, you actually found a full-size ball. Interesting. Um, actually, I'm going to put this away, because I think I'll have more fun with that in Zero Gravity. How did I get two of the friggin' things? Oh, for God's sakes, you guys are so bloody weird. Okay, real quick before I pupate the big dogs, Old Yeller, I would like to know, how easy is it to roll over in Zero Gravity? What do you mean you don't want to do that? Alright, Grapes, do you want to roll over? Please, I would love to see you try and roll over. Oh, he's doing it anyway. <laughs> Alright, well, everybody seems to have themselves under control at the moment, so I'm going to let them finish out their young adulthood, and we will be back as soon as we have some eggs, and we can do some... Science. Okay, we got six eggs, we got everybody in storage, and as Ozzy Osbourne would say... We're gonna go for little dog first, so I've got drip out, I've got sluggo out. Let's see what happens. Okay, everybody's got a tail, but nobody has a sluggo tail. You look like a sugar cube. Um Yeah, this is really an interesting mix. Alright, well, unsurprisingly, that actually ended up somewhere I wasn't expecting. However, surprisingly. I got a dog with a tail that I've actually not seen before, so yeah, I already know what I'm going to name him, and hopefully we can carry on with that because it's actually kind of cool. But all that being said, let's go breed our first big dog. Oh wow, okay, got some loud ones, that's for sure. Um. All right, did none of you come out with a pattern? Well, that just goes to show you can never tell what you're gonna get. So, Freaks and Geeks next, I think. And we'll do what we usually do. We'll just mix the two we currently had together. And hopefully we get something interesting out of the deal. Yeah, interesting doesn't even come close to describing that. So, I think next up, we're going to go for another tiny dog. But, Drip, I'm going to go a little ways back into the uh, lexicon here. See if I can find something also really small. Alright, Rudolph was actually quite tiny. So, yeah, how about Drip? Well, no, actually, I think you have Rudolph in your ancestry. How about you? 
mix with... I mean, Crumb was pretty tiny. Are you going to get any... Now, I want to find something a little more interesting. How about... Uh, attitude would be... Yahtzee would be a fun one to maybe mix you with. Uh, Angel never seems to go right. I always seem to end up with something horrible whenever I bring Angel into the mix. Yeah, how about Dripping Peanut? Let's see where we end up. <laughs> okay. Well, definitely going to get a small dog out the deal. Okay, well that actually ran four turns past the stability going to zero, so you can only imagine what we ended up with. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, it's something. Now for a big dog, I think I'm going to mix Old Yeller with... Uh, no, no, not Nightmare. No, I want Old Yeller. I just forgot to click on the thing. Now do we want Old Yeller and Snacks? Old Yeller and Violet? Oh, actually, how about... No, I really would like something without wings. Uh, Steven's got wings. But all my big dogs have wings. Jumbo's got wings. Popeye's got wings. Okay, I was kind of hoping I could actually breed the wings out of the big dogs. Frantic, you're not really a big dog. Uh, who else do we got? Pepto? No, it's too close to this generation. I guess we could bring out Kiwi. I mean, we haven't done anything with Kiwi in ages. And that'll give us, hopefully, a big dog without wings. Okay, that is not what I was expecting for the first generation. Alright, well one good thing about that dog, it pretty much just named itself. Now, for the final freaking geek, I kind of like Cubert as a basis, but what do we mix Cubert with? Um, how about, actually, Cubert, how about you and, not Sluggo, no, I want that to be Cubert, thank you. Nope, that's Grapes. Oh, actually, Grapes wouldn't be a bad place to start either, but no, I think we're going to go with Cubert. And maybe... Maybe Sluggo? Or do we want to try Cubert and Drip? Nah, Cubert and Drip. No, I want to actually mix Cubert with Sluggo, I think. Unless I have a really wide dog in here somewhere. I'm pretty sure at one point we had a dog that was quite wide. Uh, where would you be? Where would you be? Where would you be? Okay, well, if I had a wide dog, I'll be bugging if I can find it. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to breed Cubert and Sluggo, and then we are just going to take the shortest, widest two puppies we get and just keep crossbreeding those until we get to the finale. All right, well, first out of the gate, we're going to have our first small dog, which means it's a byproduct of these two here. And yeah, say hello to Skittle. Hello, Skittle. <laughs> If you're wondering why, it's because Skittle looks like she just fell out of a bag of Skittles. So, Skittle, come on out. Let's get a look at you. Whoop, that's not how you spell Skittle. Thank you very much. That's also not how you spell Skittle. Come on, Digby. You can do better. Just because your microphone's in the way doesn't mean you're completely incompetent. There we go. Oh, Skittle, you look really excitable. Yeah, Skittle is the one with the odd tail that I've not seen before. Which is basically that tail. Oops, no, that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to do that. Yeah, I've never seen the pointy straight up tail. Uh, Skittle, you look like you're actually struggling a little bit here. Now, Skittle is a glutton, which isn't really going to help, since little dogs tend to be gluttons anyway. Uh, Skittle, you, uh... You alright there, buddy? Yeah, Skittle is definitely, I think, going to be an interesting random factor in the next generation of babies. So, Skittle, I'm going to put you away, and let's go get out the first big dog. Alright, so if I'm remembering right, big dog number one was actually one that, during the early stages of the breeding process, seemed like it was going to be a disappointment. But then, well, basically this happened. <laughs> yes, um, whatever your name is going to be has all four legs, but they're all in the front. 
So yeah, his mobility is going to be interesting, and because of that, I think what I'm going to call you is Scooter. So Scooter, come on down, let's have a look at you. Yes, get a nice landing. Perfect. Actually, Scooter is pretty nimble, considering all his legs are in the front. Scooter is also a glutton. Are you a happy little fella? Well, I don't know about happy, but he definitely doesn't seem unhappy. Now, Scooter, can you actually fly, is the question. And no, no, I can't is the answer. All right, you know what, Scooter? That's not going to matter at all, because you're going to spend your entire life in zero gravity. Ah, <sighs> Shall we take a look at our first freaking geek? So out of the six eggs, this one to me was the biggest surprise. Um, parentage is on your screen now. And brace yourselves, because this one's a bit of a goofball. So come on out. Let's have a look at you. <laughs> yeah, that was not where I thought that was going to go. We've got three legs. We've only got room on our body for one, well, basically strip of uh, pattern. And I don't know what to call you. I kind of wish I hadn't used bread on bread. Because you look kind of like a slice of bread. Actually, you know what I'm going to call you? I'm going to call you... Backboard, because you look pretty much like a basketball hoop. So, yep, Backboard, come on out. Let's drag you out into the middle of the floor here. And get the camera on you. You have absolutely no traits at all. Interesting. Now, Backboard, buddy, can you stand up is the question. Yeah, let me give you a... Let me give you a hand with that. No, come on, Digby, be delicate. Just stand up. There you go. Uh. <laughs> nope, apparently Backboard's going to spend most of his life laying down. Alright, well. Now, Editor Digby, I really want you to please make a note that of all the dogs you've hatched today, the one that you actually want to breed with Backboard, and that would be the product of these two up here, is this one. Okay, say hello to, you know what, Twofold, I think that's actually the perfect name for you, because you've only got two legs. So, yeah, Twofold and Backboard, I think, will make a really, really interesting puppy. Now, Twofold, let's get you out here. Wow, you are really tiny. Okay, you're food averse. We didn't actually get much in the way of traits in this episode. No, stop doing that, Digby. Uh, Twofold, are you going to be able to walk at all? Now, I have a feeling once we get twofold into the extra heavy gravity, I'm pretty much going to spend all of my time taking him for a drag. Well, twofold, I gotta admit, I do quite like that he's got the big head. I mean, that's fun. Yeah, big head, slender body, only legs on one side. Ah, twofold, buddy, you are probably going to struggle. Okay, final big dog of the day is the product of these two. And this is one that, when we first started the breeding process, actually looked like it was going to go tragically wrong. But then towards the end, this happened. So yes, your name is not going to be Snacks, but say hello to... Well, whatever the hell this is. <laughs> oh, you're very, very pale. So how about we call you... Emo. You look like a bit of an emo. So Emo, come on out. Oh, Emo is very excitable, that's for sure. Uh, yeah, Emo, what do you got? You're a glutton. You're incredibly high energy. Brilliant. You've only got two legs. Your heads are absolutely massive. As are your noses. Uh, yeah, Emo, I think you and I are going to get along just fine. Because you look like you're going to be a lot of fun to take care of. Well, before we get out the final dog of the day, I just noticed we actually did manage at some point during this to get an achievement. So we got, okay, we got long, a very, very long dog. And all that got us was a caterpillar sculpture. Ah, damn it. I was really hoping we'd get the wide dog one. Unfortunately, when we tried to breed a wide dog, all we got was this. Okay, my dog's name is not Noodle. My dog is already cheesed off. I can tell even without looking at the um, attributes. And I suppose, if I looked like you, little fella, I would probably be cheesed off as well. So, what do you say we name you... 
How about Squash? You look like you've been stepped on. So yeah, we'll call you Squash. We'll get you out and have a look at you. Make sure we don't get any... Wow, Squash, you, <laughs> you bounce quite a ways there, little buddy. Okay, you are incredibly unhappy, and you're going to be very loud about that. Okay, well, at least Squash looks like he's going to be able to function, I was about to say. Um, yeah, Squash, you are antagonistic, you are social, which, I mean, at least that's something. Squash, as is traditional, I'm going to leave it up to you to say goodbye to everybody. So say goodbye to everybody. And yeah, as always, I've been Digby. I thank you guys for stopping by. I really hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Wobble Dogs. And yeah, I hope to see you for the next one.